evening, everybody. I'm Steve Matthews. It's my honor to moderate this uh, candidate forum for the candidates for the city council. This is for the election on May the 4th, and early voting will start on Monday, April the 22nd, and run through April 30th. Uh, the candidates are seated uh, in the three places that are on the ballot this time in ballot order. And uh, so our rules for this are that each of them will have a two-minute opening statement. I have a series of questions that were submitted by members of the community that I'll ask. And I won't ask each question of each candidate. So we'll mix it up a little bit so that you get more opportunities to hear about different topics. Uh, they'll have 30 seconds to respond, so a little tighter than what the school board just experienced. And then one minute for closing statement. And uh, we should do this in just right at an hour. And so uh, I'm going to start with the candidates for place one, uh, which is an open seat. Uh, the two candidates are seated here. And Mike, I'll start with you. And we'll just go down the table. Each of you will have two minutes for your opening statement. Well, thank you, Steve. And thank you, everyone, for coming tonight. Thank you for the organizers putting this together. I think it's great that you're here to learn about the candidates. Uh, my name is Mike Schaefer. I've lived in Allen for 25 years. My wife and I raised our family here. Um, I would say we watched Allen grow from a boutique town to the vibrant city of over 110,000 people that it is today. Uh, for the last 15 years, I've had the opportunity to serve the city in various uh, capacities. Um, I've had the opportunity to serve on the Allen Public Safety Recovery Board. We raise money for our men and women in blue and red in the time of, uh, if they get injured in the line of duty, we come in and help support them with some financial help for what workers' comp doesn't cover. I've also had the opportunity to serve on a couple of bond campaigns, one for this facility right here, the new library. Uh, we did that in 2016. Uh, we approved approximately $17 million for the expansion, which will hopefully start later this year. More recently, I've had the opportunity to serve on the bond campaign for the uh, new police headquarters. I chaired the subcommittee for that, worked, with our, worked very closely with our police chief, our assistant chiefs, looked at a lot of different facilities, learned a great deal about uh, policing in the 21st century. And I can tell you, working with these guys, that these men and women lead with servant hearts. I want to make sure that we keep them provided with the tools, equipment, uh, personnel, and facilities they need uh, to keep out a safe city. Um, I think uh, economic development, I've been able to do that for the last 12 years on our EDC board. I've chaired that board for the last six years. Um, if you look at the skylines at Waters Creek, East Allen, a lot of the dirt that's moving on 121, we've had some great partnerships uh, through the last uh, years of my time uh, serving on there. I think all of that's led me up and prepared me. Uh, it's been a good on-ramp to take this next step, run for city council. Uh, I think I'm the most uh, qualified and best prepared candidate to help lead Allen through the challenges that we face ahead and invest in the future that we need because we have a great future for our city. Thank you. Okay. Dave. Uh, thank you and good evening, everybody. My name is Dave Scott. I'm running for Allen City Council Place One. I'm a retired 30-year career police sergeant with over 30 years of experience on the front lines of public service. When I was a police officer, I volunteered much of my time on my days off to create, run, and teach our SANE program, which was my department's equivalent to the D.A.R.E. program. For over 12 years, I taught that program over to thousands of students to how, to, how to say no to drugs and gangs, and I raised over $120,000 for the program. As an administrative sergeant, I was a member of our annual budget team, and thus I have a great amount of experience in the area of city budgeting. As a police sergeant, I was tasked with leading my team of officers and making life and death decisions often, and with that, I have great leadership skills. I earned a Bachelor of Science degree in criminal justice management, and I know how city government works. In about 2007, my wife Angie found Allen on the internet, and we decided we were going to move here because of the schools and the excellent diversity. I have a very diverse family. After my retirement, Angie and I and our family fell in love with Allen when we came here just for one week to visit and explore, and we ended up buying a house that same week. Since then, I've been actively involved in our HOA by volunteering to be a liaison with the Allen city government, including police, fire, traffic, and other uh, engineering and other departments. That's directly resulted in many improvements in my own uh, HOA community. I'm running for council because I bring to the table my over 30 years of public experience, and I strive to continue by, uh, my calling to public service by being an ambassador for our community. My priorities are, as we near build out, I want to see our city continue to progress and grow with prudent, responsible spending of our tax dollars, all while not increasing taxes on homeowners. I want to bridge the gap between East and West Allen, providing redevelopment where needed. Also, our downtown business district needs to be redeveloped responsibly to attract businesses and patrons while maintaining its nostalgic charm. 
I will always support our first responders to keep our city one of the safest in the country. I will not support any more high density, high rise apartments that will overload our infrastructure, our schools, our city services, and our first responders. I also want to focus on maintaining our beautiful parks, hike and bike trails, and our natural areas. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Dave Cornett, and I'm running for re-election for Allison City Council place number three. Like my sign says, proven leadership, dedicated veteran. Give you a little bit of background myself. I'm a 100% disabled veteran from Persian Gulf War. I have been the commander at the VFW in Plano, as well as Allen as well as the senior vice commander and both and junior vice commander are both. <clears throat> in the past three years, I have uh, worked on nine different budgets, uh, not only at the city of Allen, but also at NCT 911, where I'm on the board of governors and was recently elected secretary unanimously by my peers, uh, as well as the budgets at the VFW. I am also on the Dallas Regional Mobility Coalition. And what that does, that just kind of looks at the transportation needs of the area and we try to get the money in to finish those projects. NCT 911, North Central Texas 911, Board of Governors, um, that deals with your phone bill and then uh, 911 equipment. Uh, they were looking to do a 150% increase because of, once again, state mandates without funding. Uh, we were able to get the funding through the state the last session. We still don't know exactly how much, but we were able to stave off that tax increase. And as they're coming to session, we'll ask for the um, funding again so we don't have to do a tax increase. A couple other uh, committees I'm on, I'm public art committee here. I am an ACO advisor through the city. Uh, that's just a great program, everybody knows about them. I started off on the DIPC committee through the um, AISD, and then I moved on to Better Black Allen where I started working on our downtown area. And that's coming a long way, and hopefully soon we'll be pushing dirt on that. And I'd love to see that through. I promise not to, um, to keep the taxes low, support first responders, and redevelop the east side and downtown. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Uh, is my mic on? Is this on? Yeah, there we go. Good evening, everyone. My name is Ken Cook, and I'm running for Allen City Council Place 3. I just want to thank the Friends of the Allen Public Library for putting on this event. And I also want to thank everyone here in attendance tonight. Um, I've been a resident of Allen since 2012. I met my wonderful wife, Carol, who has been a resident of Allen since 1999, and I made Allen my home, and I am so glad that I did. My journey to Texas began 53 years ago. I grew up in a small town outside Boston, Massachusetts. Lived there until I was in my early 20s, then moved to California, where I spent several years before finally arriving in Texas in 2010. And as the saying goes, I got to Texas as fast as I could, but in my case, I took 40 years, but I finally made it. I've spent the last 25 years working in healthcare, specifically cardiology, where I was able to treat patients as young as a few hours old to patients approaching 100 years old. Working with cardiologists, uh, treating critically ill patients and uh, oftentimes being called in the middle of the night to help save the life of a patient having a fatal heart attack. My whole professional career has been spent uh, in the service of others and I'm grateful for it because working in that environment has given me the compassion and the critical thinking skills that I know that I can bring to City Council. I share this with you so that you all know, as your next city councilman, I will bring the same level of compassion and critical thinking skills that will make me the most effective council member I can be for all of Allen. I love this city, our wonderful public library, our award-winning parks, and our top-rated schools make Allen a destination for people who want to live in a first-in-class city and graze their families here. I spent the last several years uh, being involved as much as I can and learning as much as I can about the city of Allen uh, as a member of Allen's Planning and Zoning Commission, uh, graduate of the Allen Fairview Leadership Class, Class 34, best class ever, and also as a current member of Allen ISD Leadership and Project Kids, um, I have learned a lot about this city and what I've learned is that our past leadership was intentional and careful and laying the foundation for the bright future that we now see. Uh, my name is Ken Cook, running for Allen City Council Place 3, and I would appreciate your vote and your support. Thank you. Okay, sad. 
Can you guys hear me? Yeah. All right. Uh, first of all, thanks uh, uh, for arranging this. Thanks to uh, Friends of Ellen Public Library, Rotary Club of Ellen, and Sunrise Rotary Club. My name is Saad Hamid, and uh, I am a father of three. And I have three generations who live in Ellen. And my wife have four generations who live in Ellen. So we call Ellen home because all of us love it, as all of you do. With all that, I feel that uh, and there is a responsibility, as all of us take this responsibility to serve the community, that's the responsibility I wanted to take and offer my service. I'm an IT guy. Um, uh, I have 15 years plus of technology experience. I come as a, a telecommunication engineer, a master's in business administration, and much more on the professional part. But I want to set an example for my kids and my family where we serve the community. That's, where, that's why I'm here for. With this responsibility to serve, I have been actively involved in the city, like COP program for the uh, police department, which I have worked with. And my family and my kids work uh, volunteer, like uh, Kids Against Hunger program, Keep Ellen Beautiful, and all different uh, great programs we have. The purpose, again, is to serve the community. That's, where, that's why I'm here for. Now, <clears throat> coming to uh, what I think we can do together uh, for the betterment of the, uh, of the city, I have certain priorities which I think all of us have a good understanding about, like public safety and uh, fostering economic uh, development and growth and addressing aging infrastructure, which we on, all want to see. And last but not the least, all of us love Ellen because of its characteristics, which uh, how it looks like. We want to invest on improving parks and rec centers. I am here for Allen City Council place number three, looking for your support. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Dave. Good evening. My name is Dave Schaefer, and I am the incumbent for Allen City Council place five. I am a licensed private investigator, a Texas board certified investigator, and hold nationally recognized designation of board certified criminal defense investigator. In addition to city council, I serve on the board for the Texas Association of Licensed Investigators, where I serve as the sergeant at arms for the board, liaison to the ethics committee, the commendations committee, and the TBCI committee. For the last three years, I have had the privilege of serving the citizens of the greatest city in America, Allen. We have made excellent strides over the last three years, the same as our predecessors did on the council previously. In year one, we achieved the no new revenue rate. Year two, barely over the no new revenue rate. In year three, we took a different path and we instituted the city's first ever general homestead exemption at the city level, all while avoiding any risk to the city of Allen's infrastructure and providing police and fire the utmost level of support. It is my intention, should I be privileged enough to serve another three years, to continue that trajectory, to see that the east side is revitalized, to see through the construction of our new PDHQ, and continue what I love, which is serving, again, the citizens of the greatest city in America. My name is Dave Schaefer. Again, I am the incumbent for Allen City Council, place number five, and I hope to have your vote on May 4th. Thank you. Good evening. Um, first of all, thank you to the Friends of Allen and also the Rot Rot Rotary Club, all the organizers and volunteers. Really appreciate everybody doing this and putting this forum together. My name is Zishan Nase, I go by Z. Me, my wife, and our four kids, we live in Allen. We've been here about 10 years. Before that, we were in Richardson for about 10 years. Um, and this is our home. It's a beautiful city that we all love. Um, and we, we like to pr provide back to the community, do the community service and volunteering pretty much across the board, across different programs, like Keep Allen Beautiful, um, the, the 4th of July celebration, uh, so on and so forth. I'll tell you a little bit about my kids. My eldest, uh, um, Mariam, she's actually an Allen Eagle. 
She graduated from here. She is in uh, Austin College now. She's also a Girl Scout ambassador. So that took a long time for us to achieve, for her to achieve that. She was also the chair at the Allen City Council for youth representation for Keep Allen Beautiful. And uh, she's carrying on on that journey and providing community service. So that's what me and my wife do. We teach our children how to provide, how to do community service, how to give back, right? And that's essential for, for us in any program that we do. Pretty much that's what I teach all my scouts as well, as I'm a scout master for Allen Troop 1110. Um, and uh, I'm an IT manager. I run very complex and large scale programs from 10 million to 100 million, always deliver at cost and on time. And um, the, I'm looking forward to serving the city and continue to contribute and make, uh, make our city even more beautiful than what it is today. Thank you. Thank you, Carl. Hi, my name is Carl Klamensich, and I am running for uh, Allen City Council place number five. And first of all, I want to thank the friends of the Allen Public Library, uh, the Rotary Club of Allen, and the Sunrise Rotary Club as well for sponsoring this event, and for everyone who's in attendance today. A little bit about who I am. I am a husband, a father, a grandfather, uh, and I'm a servant leader to our community. Uh, my wife, Lori, and I have been married for almost 40 years. Uh, we have been blessed with five children, nine grandchildren, and we've lived in Allen since 1994. Uh, we attend St. Jude's Catholic Church, where we are active members. Uh, by day and sometimes at night, I am a, uh, an accountant uh, professional uh, for the last 40 years. I hold multiple degrees in both finance and accounting, and I'm a certified uh, public accountant in the state of Texas. Uh, in terms of what I do in my free time, I've, I've volunteered a lot. So I've been active in our community, in our school district, and in, uh, in for city organizations for the past 28 years. Uh, up until last year when I had to step down for a year, I served on city council for six years. And I also served before that five years as school board trustee for Allen ISD. I served 10, I served 10 years on Allen Economic Development, uh, four years on Parks and Rec, and four years on community development. So I believe in giving back to the community. Uh, during the one year that I sat out, I've been tend in a lot of the city council meetings, and I was concerned with the lack of tenure and experience of the current council, and that's why I decided to run again. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you all. Uh, this first question is for the candidates in place one. Dave, I'm gonna start with you and then uh, go to Mike. Uh, talk a little bit about your vision for Allen and what steps you would like to see to help Allen have a unique identity. And you have 30 seconds to respond. Okay, what I'd like to see is a responsible build out with uh, minimal impact or no impact on homeowners taxes. I'd like to see downtown business district get developed in a nice way that maintains a lot of its nostalgic charm, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, I think that's a great place for our city to, to really focus on making us more unique than we already are with some outdoor attraction area and uh, just really doing something to keep a very nostalgic charm there. Thank you. Mike. Yeah, so our last Horizon 121, now we have a great opportunity to do some really uh, unique and special things there. I think that's already begun with the farm. I think we need to be responsible about how we finish building that out, especially the largest undeveloped track of land, which is at 12175 that the Billings Group recently um, have purchased and working through the city. I do agree that the uh, downtown revitalization is important. I think we've made a lot of progress over the last two years. We've reached a lot of steering committees. We've got a lot of feedback. Uh, from the citizens on what they look for and what they expect to happen there. So I think those are great opportunities for us. Good. Thank you. Uh, this question is for the candidates in place three. Ken, I'm going to start with you, then Saad, sure. then Dave. And Ken, if you would bring your mic down just a little lower, maybe it won't pop so bad. Uh, the question is this. All cities go through cycles of growth, a decline, hopefully renewal. And uh, so for a city like Allen that has uh, done a lot of growing over the past couple of decades, what proposals would you specifically endorse to ensure Allen remains vibrant and attractive? 
Well, I think a very important part of uh, development for the city as we grow is to keep our green spaces. We need uh, a good public square, so to speak. So when we develop our downtown, I'd very much like to see a a common area for the citizens to come. Um, you know, community is everything in Allen. And as we grow towards eventual build out, I would like to see us really preserve those green areas for, for public events and cultural events. Okay, thank you. Saad, do you want me or? Saad, is that okay? All right. Yeah, I think uh, all of us love Ellen because of a reason. We like the Ellen, Ellen the way it is. So while we grow and we build all this uh, revitalized downtown and we build this 121 corridor, I think we need to keep in mind that we keep the Ellen the way it is and try to make things uh, grow and improve the way we will keep it loving. So I think uh, uh, with having the business come in and having the increase the tax base, we have to make sure that we uh, keep it balanced. Thank you. Well, I think uh, important part will be to revitalize the east side. Um, I know that has been started, as well as the downtown area. Uh, talking about the green spaces, that's been included. Uh, it was very much on our mind while we were going through that process, and, and the citizens' mind. We extensively invited the citizens to come in and give us their input, how they wanted to see it, and then we had a company come together and just put it all together, and the green spaces are there. Uh, like I said, the, the east side definitely needs a, a little bit of a hand, and we're looking at that now. Okay, thank you. Uh, this question is for the candidates in place five, and Z, I'm going to start with you, and then Carl, and then finish with Dave. Do you think the city is spending enough on maintaining infrastructure, specifically streets, alleys, and sidewalks? If not, what proposals would you support to address this issue, and how would you balance that with the cost of other city priorities, such as parks or first responders? Yeah, I think that's a very good question. So first of all, I think city is spending quite some, I think uh, five million plus on roads and streets. We have to look at uh, uh, both on the east side and west side to make sure we are um, handling both sides uh, to the degree that they need to be covered. We, um, uh, we definitely need more um, to spend. And for that, um, I think we need to focus on increasing the revenue than increasing the tax burden. There's a lot we can do in both our organic and inorganic growth. Within the city, we have tremendous opportunities that can be set and unleash uh, within Allen uh, that I'll be looking into. All right, thank you. Great, Carl. As, as Allen continues to mature, almost 62% of our neighborhoods are over 25 years. Recently, the city council approved a study for uh, infrastructure management service where they actually did a study of all 480 miles of city streets in Allen. It was determined at that point in time that our streets were B plus and that we would need to invest the 5.3 million, which is gonna come from the bond that was recently passed so that we'll be able to maintain our streets going forward. Thank you. Okay. So a portion of that $5.3 million is going to be covered by the bond that was recently passed, but every year there is a certain portion from the general fund that covers. And we are working ev diligently to spend an adequate amount of money for infrastructure. The one thing I would like to point out is there is a finite number of vendors that have the qualifications, the insurance, and the staff to perform the work needed. And there does come a point where no matter how much money you spend, there's not enough people to get the job done. Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, candidates in place one, Mike, we'll start with you and then Dave. The legislature recently took action to reduce residential property taxes to help mitigate the impact of rising property values on residents. But are there actions you believe the city should take? It's a regional issue. We live uh, in one of the fastest growing counties in the country. And so uh, it does relate to Allen. I think Allen has been very proactive. We have the second lowest property tax rate in the 33 cities in Collin County. In addition to that, we've recently passed a 5% general homestead exemption. And so I think we've been very proactive in trying to address this. The challenge I think that we have is while we do that and while we focus on that, we, we stop funding some of the other things that are important. We push hiring public personnel, public safety personnel down the road. We push hiring stuff for um, investing in our parks and other places that keep out on the best in class city. So that's the challenge. 
Well, like Mike said already, uh, we are the second lowest in the entire county as far as property taxes are concerned. That's already a pretty good uh, mark for us. I believe that responsible continued uh, building and bringing in new businesses uh, that have good tax base will help offset property taxes even further because we'll have more money for the general fund uh, to finance other public things that we need in the city, such as first responders, hiring more police officers, firefighters, as our brand new fire station is uh, almost completed as well. Okay, thank you. Candidates in place three, uh, Sad, I'm gonna start with you and then Dave and, and then uh, Ken. Are there activities or programs offered by the city that you don't think should be offered by the city? And if not, who should provide those services? In my opinion, uh, we have a very fine balance. We have the right programs which we offer in the city. And I think with the growing population and the growth of business and the uh, residents as well, this is an ever-changing uh, dynamic and we have to just keep thinking about what are the best programs with these uh, growth uh, coming in the city and add those programs as we, uh, as we find them appropriate. At this point of time, I feel like we are appropriately uh, having those programs. Thanks. Okay. I would say no as well. There's, uh, nobody's really complaining. I don't think we're overspending. We're not overtaxing. Um, so my answer is short, simple, no. Okay. And Ken? Uh, I, I do believe that Allen has a good balance in how they um, have the programs in the city. Um, I don't see any reason to really change anything and maybe enhance some of the existing programs to benefit more citizens. That's, that's the way I see it. Okay. Thank you. In place five, Carl, this one will go to you first, and then Dave and Z will finish with you. How do we as a community strike the right balance between single family and multifamily to ensure both healthy property values and affordability? Well, and that, that's a complex question, right? It's a, I think what we need to do is offer enough of housing solutions, be it uh, single family residents, townhomes, uh, uh, multi, uh, basically tenants, uh, apartments that exist currently, um, urban living centers, so that we provide a variety of housing options so that people that live and work in the city can afford to live, live here. Thank you. I would say that that balance has more than been struck already. As we approach build out, which we are already approximately 85 to 90 percent, we have thousands of apartments, including over 4,000 that have yet to be built. As I said before, three years ago, I would vote for no new apartment developments, and I intend to vote for no new apartment developments. Thank you. I think the key for us is to listen to the citizens, try to understand what they're looking for. As I'm talking to the citizens of Allen, people are asking me about affordable living, because people who are working in our restaurants and in hospitals require that. Right? So we, we have to continue to take a look at that and see you know, if there's need, because the city's growing. right? As the city's growing, we have these houses that are being built out, which is great, but then we, we, need, we have a lot of population that requires multi-family housing as well. So we have to take a look at that uh, and continue to evaluate. Okay, thank you. This question's gonna go to all of you, and uh, if I may, Saad, I'm gonna start with you and go down to Carl and then come to Mike and finish with Ken, if you'll follow that. The Texas legislature will meet next spring and you'll be asked to weigh in on policy matters that affect the city of Allen. Is there any specific action you'd like the legislature to take on behalf of cities or any specific proposal you'd oppose? In my opinion, uh, we need to make sure that uh, cities should have some level of uh, independence on some decision making. And uh, we, we need to make sure that we bring this up and to have that uh, control on the, uh, on the cities, what they can do and what uh, legislators should consider that give, should be given as, an, uh, as a lever for cities to decide on. Yeah, that, that's what I feel like we should keep on focusing. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not, can you yes. repeat the question again? Happy to. Uh, the Texas legislature will meet next spring and you'll be asked to weigh in on policy matters that affect the city of Allen. Is there any specific action you'd like to, the legislature to take on behalf of cities or any specific proposal you would oppose? Specific proposals at this time, no. What I would like them to do is stop taking away local control. Thank you. Okay. See so you're next. Um, I think definitely I would second that. I think 2127 is a concerning uh, legislation that came through. So we definitely need to talk about that. At the same time, we, we are a city within Texas, so we follow the Texas laws. Um, at the same time, we have to continue the dialogue uh, uh, you know, together with other sister cities and uh, bring up issues and concerns. The lawsuit that they have allowed to be to go against the cities, that's very concerning uh, to me. Thank you. Carl? Yeah, I, I think the issue is always about local control. I, let, the gov let the city governments kind of rule their destination, if you will. The other thing that's very important is making sure we have good coordination with our mobility plans, with TxDOT and with funding of our major interstates, um, which is going to be even more valuable as the uh, county and North Texas continues to grow. Yeah, I think any time the state comes in and starts trying to make ordinances and adopt things that affect cities, they're usually targeting the larger cities in like Dallas and San Antonio and Austin. And what happens is you have unintended consequences on the smaller cities like us. For example, if you look a couple of years ago, they passed something that basically annihilated all the building codes in Allen. So if you wanted to come in and build a, a metal building, no problem. We couldn't have stopped you. Um, fortunately, no one found out about that, and I came back a couple of years later and corrected that problem. But that's the challenge. They don't um, always think through everything they pass. Well, I'm going to have to concur, concur with everybody else here on that same topic. As, as far as I'm concerned, we need to remain independent from all those kinds of decisions. We don't need the sta state to step in and take away any control from us uh, when it comes down to building or anything else. Yeah, I think it's going to be unanimous because we can't even control the building. Uh, material and that's that's just insane um, state rep uh, emailed me and said is there anything that concerns you i told him yeah leave this uh, city control alone never got back with me and, and passed more or tried to pass more bills to uh take away city control so yes definitely agree with that well i'm gonna sound like a broken record but um austin is austin and allen is allen and i would like to see allen take care of its own business if I was going to want the state to do anything, it would be to maybe offer some programs and assistance for the growing homelessness issue that's starting to happen in, in Collin County. We see a little bit of it in Allen. And uh, I think that that's one way, the only way I would like to see state to get involved locally. Okay. This question is for the candidates in place. One, Dave, you'll start, and then Mike. Uh, about current tax revenues. So do you feel like the city's current tax revenues are too high, too low, just about right. Where do you think we're at as a community? I think just, just about right. I'm sure there's room for improvement, as always, in uh, any aspect of taxes. Uh, I think if we continue to be, like I said, uh, responsible in the businesses that we continue to bring into the city, stay the city we are where we can attract good businesses, uh, I think a lot of businesses want to come here. And I think if we can continue to bring them here, we'll get that tax base that we need, and uh, we should stay just fine. Okay. Yeah, Allen's tax was at its peak in 1993. When I moved here in 1999, it was about 57 and a half cents. Now we're at 42, I believe. We've lowered the property taxes for 31 years in a row. So it's nothing new. It's not something we started three years ago. Uh, we'll continue to do that. The challenge that we have is that while we do that, we still have to invest in the city in the future. We can't stop investing in, in a best-in-class city. And so I think that we should continue to lower property taxes, but not try to hit an arbitrary number like NNR, which is a totally unsustainable for most cities. Okay. Uh, next question, candidates in place three. Dave, you'll start, and then Ken, and so I will finish with you. Um, share with the audience your top three priorities or goals for the city uh, during your term, something you haven't talked about already. For the term coming up? Yes, sir. Uh, keep taxes low, of course. Uh, and I agree, you know, NNR is not achievable every year. It's not. Um, that's something that's going to be decided year by year. I was proud to um, work on the homestead exemptions, and some on council wanted to take a little bit of time before we expand those, and I'm fine with that. 
always support our first responders. Um, especially after last year, how can you not? And I'd like to increase, en enhance the, the quality of life with our award-winning parks and trails. Um, three years in, I realized the, the value of those, and I want to support those. Okay. Um, my, my three big ones are obviously the downtown development and the development along 121. Um, that will enhance our tax base and keep our tax rate low. Uh, I'd also like to see um, continued, um, let me try to, just, I'd like to see the, the commercial development to keep our tax base low. And I would like to also see our parks continue to, to be enhanced. And I would like to find um, achievable housing for the citizen in Allen so we can attract young families so they, they can plant roots here and raise their families. Thank you. Sure. Um, my priorities start, my first priority start with public safety. And I think there is a lot of room. We are already good at this, but we, there is a lot of room to improve that by having technology incorporation in the, in the public safety. There are a lot of technologies which can help us. Then uh, we have uh, the aging infrastructure, which is my top priority as well, especially on the east side. And um, the last but not the least is economic growth. So we already have the plans, 121 uh, corridor, business development, and I need to uh, emphasize on the, the third one to have uh, revitalizing the east side strip malls and all. Yeah, these are the th three priorities I have in mind. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this question's for place five. Uh, Dave, we'll start with you and then Z and finish with Carl. Uh, share with the audience your, how your professional background prepares you to be a member of the city council and any particular leadership experience that you believe uh, lends itself to success in the role. So as I actually mentioned this earlier this morning at another event, I've been in the legal and criminal justice field for well over a decade. I approach everything as an investigator and whenever you're investigating anything, details matter. That has prepared me to look into the details of everything that comes across my screen or my desk or however you want to phrase it. And it is that background that makes me qualified. That's a very good question. I think the key for me is as I run very large scale programs is how I set up the teams, the team building, getting collaborative programs going, getting people excited about doing the job we have to do, right? So that's essentially what I do. That's how I drive success for long, large scale programs at work. I also bring a lot of cybersecurity experience, which is essential for our security. So we have physical, then we have digital that we have to watch out for as well. So I, I bring that to the table. Thank you. Fantastic. And, and I mentioned earlier, I'm a CPA. I'm all about fiscal responsibility. I'm all about managing budgets and looking at everything from a financial perspective. As far as being prepared for this position, 28 years of community service. I made sure that I learned about the city, the city operations, or public safety before I ever ran for public office. And 28 years later, it's, I value everything that I've ever had an opportunity to do, and I look forward to continuing to serve the city of Allen that I love. Okay. Thank you all. So at this time, it's time for closing statements, and uh, I'm going to go in reverse order that we did uh, when we started, which means, Carl, you'll start, and we'll finish down here with Mike. Fantastic. You each have a minute for closing. Again, I'd like to thank everyone who uh, uh, sponsored this event and who's in attendance today. Uh, I can truly tell you that it has been a blessing uh, to live in the city of Allen and to be able to participate and give back to the citizens. This is something that I have a huge passion for. I love this community and I've worked hard along with fellow council members over the years to make this the best city that is possible. And I always like to say that I love Allen and I'll do anything to make sure it's a great place, continues to be a great place to live, work, play, dine, chop, and raise a family. Carl Klemensich, Allen City Council, place number five, and I appreciate your vote. 
Yeah, I think uh, the key for, for, for me is, uh, first of all, thank you so much for uh, you know, setting this up and all of you being here. Um, and um, uh, what I'm going to bring to the table is essentially transparency, feedback loop, getting listening to the residents themselves to see how we are doing. Um, optimization is essential. Right, so what we are doing and how we can optimize it without it changing the effect to the residents, that's critical. Right, so I'm going to keep an eye on that. That's what I focus on at work. Um, also, making volunteering exciting again. So that's another big goal for me to make sure we do that. Uh, youth leadership is uh, very important. I'm very passionate about that. Uh, to make sure we are collaborating with uh, Al Plano, they do that right, right and, and we do that for our environment. So once again, uh, thank you so much for everybody. My name is Zishan Nase. Come vote for me, Allen City Council, place five. Yeah, so I'm going to echo the thank you for everybody that took the time out of your night to come here. Surely you all had better things to do than to listen to a bunch of glorified politicians run their mouths and make promises. <laughs> Allen is a very special place, and the crown jewel of our city is our people. You will not find anyone else in any other city as special as the people of Allen. I am the incumbent. I believe I've done a good job. And I would like to continue the hard work that I have dedicated myself to for the last three years. My name is Dave Schaefer. I am the incumbent for Allen City Council Place 5. And I would greatly appreciate the privilege of serving for an additional three years. Thank you. I would again thank you all for coming. Definitely, it is a pleasure to be here. And um, I would again uh, repeat the same thing that it, Ellen is special for, for all of us. It's special for me equally, even more, because I have, as I said, I have four generations calling Ellen home. So I have the perspective of grand grandparents, grandparents, my kids, myself. So I bring in that. Uh, that, that thing for community where I can collaborate, I can provide the feedback, I can bring in and have a better communication. With all my IT experience and my technology background and the dedication to serve the community, I feel that I am the right candidate for uh, Allen City Council. I'm ready and I, I want to strive for making Allen our city, which we love, safer, stronger for our generations to come. Look forward to, for your vote. Thank you. Well, I want to thank everybody again. Thank the uh, friends of the Allen Public Library. Um, I love this city. You're going to hear that from everybody up here. Uh, I'm going to take the love that I have for this city and be the leader that this city needs for Allen City Council Place 3. My name is Ken Cook. I'm running for Allen City Council Place 3, and I would love your vote and support. Thank you very much. I'll echo, too. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for putting up with us. Thank you for hosting. My name is Dave Cornett. I am running for re-election, Allen City Council, place number three. Now, a couple things I didn't really talk on a whole lot tonight was downtown, the 121, and the east side, because things are moving on that. Things are going forward, and that's why I wanted to stick to what my vision for the next three years are. I worked on the downtown for nearly five years now, and I really want to see that through. I have been that leader that Allen needs on Allen City Council place number three. Proven leadership, dedicated veteran. Because of our team, I'm part of the team that our streets, we no longer have to guess how much money we need to put into those streets. We know that we put the money into the streets, we're at B plus now, we'll be at an A in just a few short years. And the streets will continue to get better. No more guessing, we know exactly what we need to do now. Dayforallen.com, thank you. And once again, thank you all for being here and for having us. And thank you, Steve, for moderating this forum for us. I love this city and I want to do everything possible to keep Allen an attractive and a beautiful city for all of us to live and work in. I want us to continue to be a best in class city, which will continue to attract more businesses and visitors, which will bring additional tax base, which can help lessen the tax burden on our citizens. We need to be fiscally responsible. 
We need to give our other crown jewel, yes, our people are awesome, I think our other crown jewel is our event center. It's been sadly overlooked for many years and it needs the attention it deserves. It's bleeding money and it has a lot of potential to bring in a lot of income for us and offset some more tax base. I'll never approve DART. I look forward to being involved in the continuing formation of the 2045 Comprehensive Plan. I'll listen to the people and I'll be your ambassador. I'm a man of integrity, transparency, and as such, my word is good. I will keep my promises to our community and I will follow through with all of my commitments to you. I'm Dave Scott. I would appreciate your vote on May 4th. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for everyone who's here tonight and for the organizers. I think Allen is an exceptional city. Uh, and I think we need to invest in his future to keep it that way. I think the Allen citizens deserve to be a best in class city, to be the standard bearer, to have the best roads, the best infrastructure, best access to health care, access to the best education, award winning parks, right? Best public safety. These are things that all cities should strive for. And that's what we do in Allen. We're standing on the shoulders of men who've been here before us, and we have a responsibility to carry that torch forward. If you look around this room, what you see is a collective of a diverse group of people with different ideas and different backgrounds. But we're drawn here tonight for what? For our city, because we want to be proud of the city that we live in. We want to love our city. And we want our leaders and our representatives to be proud and to brag on them, to be more optimistic than ominous. That's the kind of leader that I want to be for Allen. My name is Mike Schaefer. I'm running for place one. I ask for your vote and thank you for your support. All right. Let's give this, these candidates a round of applause. And I want to give a special thanks to Kathy and Regina for being our timekeepers tonight. Thank you both very much. We want to thank the friends of the Allen Public Library and the Rotary Clubs of Allen for hosting this event tonight. As a reminder, Election Day is May 4th. Early voting starts Monday, April the 22nd. It'll be 8 to 5 the first week, and then 7 to 7 on Tuesday the 29th, Monday the 29th, and Tuesday the 30th. You can vote at the Municipal Court uh, Parks and Rec Building next to City Hall, at uh, Allen ISD Municipal Service Center, or any early voting location around the county. Uh, with that, we're adjourned. Thank you all.